I'm Darla. And I'm Brianna. We are researching mental health outside of school. Many Fresno teens are unaware that services are available to us within arm's reach. All problems, big and small, can be helped. Our health corp teacher, Ms. Shelton, introduced our video production class to journaling and vlogging as a way to express our feelings. So I've been keeping up with my journals, and that means writing in five positive things every night. And I think that's perfect because even after I've had, I felt like I've had a bad day, it, that doesn't make up for a bad life. And the journal helps me realize that. I feel journaling is... For me, personally, it's not helpful because you get so overwhelmed with how many you have to do, or if you skip a day, you have to go back and try to remember what you did that day, or you just, like, I don't find it useful. As you can see, journaling isn't for everyone, so we went to our in-school SAP counselor to help us find another outside source. Hi, my name is Hong Vo. I'm a SAP counselor at Sunnyside High School. She told us the first place we should visit is Comprehensive Youth Services. So here we are checking it out. I am Becky Kramer. I'm the Executive Director of Comprehensive Youth Services. I'm a licensed marriage family therapist and I've been doing this for about 25 years. They provide a variety of mental health and supportive services. This includes counseling, crisis intervention, along with the group and family counseling. Comprehensive Youth Services works with infants up to adults. They have recently moved from their southeast Fresno location, so I asked if they still provided services to those children. Yes. Um, as I said, we've got school-based counseling, so we've got services at schools um, in that area. We also have um, programs that provide um, home services, so we'll actually travel out to the homes to provide the services in the areas to make it convenient for the families. I feel like when we both started this project, we didn't really know a lot about outside of school help, and I'm sure our classmates didn't either. We always thought counseling was super expensive until we came across comprehensive youth services. They opened our eyes to see that counseling isn't expensive unless you have insurance, and most of them are accepted, but they won't turn you away for the inability to pay. And I think that's really cool because we always thought counseling was super expensive, but after doing this research and doing our research and this documentary, we realized that Counseling isn't impossible. Hi, my name is Jada Graham. I am 17 years old. I go to Sunnyside High School, and this is my personal story on nutrition. Something that I struggle on nutrition is eating healthy. There will be days I will eat healthy, but then I will start eating a lot of junk food again. This has affected me because it does not make my body healthy, especially because I'm in track, so I have to start eating more healthy. Jada here again. Um, so this is the second week. Um, I haven't really been eating healthy. I haven't eaten a lot of junk food, which is not good. But you know, food is life, so can't help it. <laughs> but yeah, so you know, I've been eating a lot, and Thanksgiving is coming up, and tomorrow is my birthday, so I'm be eating a lot, unhealthy, really fat, but I don't care. <laughs> so yeah, so yeah, but I try hard to eat healthy sometimes I do sometimes I don't sometimes I eat salads but then I end up eating junk food again or stuff so I don't really eat healthy but I am still gonna try some obstacles that I have overcome is I don't eat a lot of hot cheetos like I used to and I don't drink a lot more soda now I drink a lot more water I do have days I do cheat and eat bad but this is hardly ever happening my mom has coped me with my struggles along the way I go run with her and exercise with her throughout the days. My mother encourages us to eat healthier. She makes me and my sister healthy smoothies to become healthier and fit. I have accomplished my goal in eating healthier and becoming more fit. I have struggled, but I battled my way out of it to become who I am now. when I was feeling happy and I'm like really sad because I miss being happy <laughs> and I don't know what to do. I started off senior year with no friends and it was hard for me because during lunch I would have to hang out by myself and I wouldn't know where to go. Um, I would just hate that time because I would go eat lunch somewhere somewhere in the quad or like by myself or in a teacher's room and sometimes when the teacher wasn't there I didn't know where to go so 
I just started like going to the restroom and eating it there and a lot of people would make fun of like oh like mean girls eating lunch in the restroom and it would hurt me because I was going through that and it was like they were making fun of me for it and I didn't know what to do so it was just I would just hang around in my by myself in classes the one that started um, telling me oh you should go to um, Hip Hop Nation audition for it like put myself more out there I'm gonna be able to talk about it more and I'm probably gonna be an emotional wreck but it's okay because I think that that's what I need I need to like let it out not just on my journal <laughs> And this year has been so much better than how it was last year and the beginning of my senior year. So now it's been really good because I've been talking to more people. I made friends in VPA and I started talking to some of my old friends. And yeah, it's been really good. It didn't get better right away. It took some time for me to feel like how I'm feeling right now. But like, I'm glad that I feel like how I am right now and I hope that like, this doesn't go away. I've gotten to this point with the help of my, some of my teachers, my friends, and like letting things out and knowing that people were supporting me and being more involved in things like being involved in VPA. I didn't picture things would get this good last year around this time, but I'm really glad it did because even though at that moment in time I didn't feel like things were going to get better, things did get better. So if someone's going through a situation, then just know that things do get better even if it doesn't seem to. If anyone is going through something that difficult or they think that they're not going to be able to overcome, it's possible to overcome it. You just have to try and when you try, you can achieve whatever you want. I'm uh, Jana Pickett, Mrs. Pickett. Uh, I'm here from Fresno. I'm a local group fitness instructor, personal trainer, and own my own business as a personal trainer. Somebody recommended me going into physical therapy, and in the course of going through schooling for physical therapy, I started working at a gym and realized that I could help just as many people inside a gym setting, um, whether that be teaching classes like I did with you guys today or doing one-on-one -on -one training, um, and that I could reach just as many, if not more people to help them with healthier lifestyles than being a physical therapist. Pull it up. Big inhale, and exhale. One more time, big inhale. Gosh, I would say zero to like three. Um, it's very small because of timing and a, a lot of, I don't know if there's, I don't know why there's that little, but it's very, very small. <laughs> yeah, because too, a lot of, not so you're not taught the basics um, in your youth while you're in schools and stuff. You have PE, but you're not, I, I mean, I can't speak from personal experience, but I would assume that it's not encouraged to go out and above and beyond. There are those fabulous PE instructors that probably do encourage you guys to do more, but if you're not started with the base foundation when you're young of active um, activity on a daily basis, and whether that's just doing sit-ups and push-ups and squats at home while you're watching TV or going outside and playing for 30 minutes a day, um, football or tag or riding your bike, if that's not established at a young age, it is hard to get into the groove of it when you're older because you haven't had that established base. And so 
it's more challenging and I even know student athletes that if they're not, once they're done with high school, if it's not encouraged to do stuff outside of their specific sport, they don't, what's next? You know, there isn't, they know how to, they're told how to work out, but it's not told what to do next. So it is challenging for them and then as adults and outside of high school to continue on with a workout regimen. It's a huge area that needs help. Um, you guys as student athletes and kids and youth um, have tons of energy and are really good at doing stuff and learning new exercises and being influences to other people. And so therefore, if we could get in and work out with you guys and get you guys to be active, you influence your younger siblings, your older siblings, your parents, your aunts, your uncles, your cousins more than you know. And that could start a whole revolution in Fresno. If you got the youth to be active and going, and you touched three people in your family and they touched three more, shoot, you could have the whole city of Fresno rocking and rolling just by working out because of you. Hi, my name is Iari. I'm 17 years old. I go to Sunnyside High School and my plan is to get like the Instagram fit girls and stay on a high protein diet. And we shouldn't be angry. And my raps that I'm rapping to my community shouldn't be filled with rage. You know what I'm saying? They shouldn't be filled with the same atrocities that they gave to me. In the media, they don't talk about it. So in my raps, I have to talk about it. Iari sat down. She showed me some pictures of these fitness models that she just thought were uh, really good looking and said, I want to look like that. So uh, we sat down and figured out, all right, what are some goals we can do? What are some physical fitness goals and nutrition goals that might be able to lead you towards this body type? Uh, and she told me that she you know, had all these plans and she was going to uh, print out these pictures and put them in the front of the journal as inspiration. I don't know, I like, I liked their body, like I liked the way it looked, so it was like, I want to look like that too, so why not? My diet, yeah, I changed my, um, I changed my diet to make my body better because if I eat junk food or anything, I'm just gonna get big and fat. <sighs> um, I'm depressed. Really depressed. I can't eat the junk food that I want to. I mean, I mean, it, the diet that I'm on, it's worth it. But at the same time, it's like, I miss all the food. Like, I really do. School food, um, they really didn't provide anything that I needed to eat healthy to make my body perfect. So me eating at school wasn't an option. I had to go off campus to get something healthy. But Ayari's goal was so specific and I think it's really helped her uh, through this progress to have that goal, to have that specific thing uh, to look at, which we all kind of need, whether it's a, a picture or some kind of thing to succeed. Setting big goals doesn't result in uh, so much success, but having something specific to strive for uh, really does. So it's been interesting to monitor her progress through all of this. Outside of school, there's no rules when it comes to health for students. Let's go to a few students and see where they like to go. The Starbucks. <laughs> or maybe like Taco Bell. Taco Bell and Starbucks. And Panda. Starbucks. I Panda. Starbucks. Oh, okay. stop? Uh, we're going to Taco Bell and Vallarta. <laughs> Me and my best friend Albert and sometimes Francisco who's also another one of my best friends. We go to In-N-Out because we're ballers. So. <laughs> Panda Express. You know me. Eating healthy takes some type of education when it comes to the matter. Ms. Sheldon has brought in speakers to show us some tips and also showed us some of her own recipes to help us out. 
Um, the cooking demos were pretty good. They gave us ideas on what to do at home by ourselves. Um, they were pretty organized. I like the people that came in. They told us why we should use what we use in our food and what we shouldn't use and also alternatives to that stuff, so that was pretty cool. We learned overall, we just learned um, just different methods, stuff outside our comfort zone. You know, we come from different backgrounds, so we're used to different things, and then having those speakers come in and show us how to cook different foods, doing demos, that just gave us different ideas. So that was, that's always really fun, and just to know new things. Now let's go to Sunnyside senior Francisco Maldonado that goes above and beyond for his health. Uh, my name is Francisco Maldonado Vasquez. I'm a student at Sunnyside High School. I'm a senior and I raise animals. Chickens. Every morning I get up around 6 o'clock and the first thing I do is I come out here and I feed all my animals and that's how I get my day started. I use a lot of online resources. <laughs> I use a lot of books, magazines. That's a peacock right there. Um, that's his mating call and uh, you know a lot of things that I learned were through using websites and things that that allowed me to connect with other people who were specialized in that field, you know. So with the internet and with just books, that those were like the greatest resources, I think. It takes about 49 days to raise a chicken from the day it hatches to the day you butcher it. And it has a feed-to-meat conversion ratio of about three pounds of food to one pound of meat, which is the most efficient ratio in comparing it to all other meat animals like beef or anything else. So chicken is the most efficient. The food that you make yourself, the food that you grow yourself, you are for sure much more appreciative and grateful for having that food because you know how much work it took to produce that. And you're the one who put in the hours, you're the one who put in the energy and the effort. And so when you eat it, it's fulfilling, you know. And when you just buy something from the store, it doesn't feel the same emotionally because you're going to just take it for granted because it's just another piece of chicken or it's just another vegetable. As, as far as health goes, I mean, the, the health benefits of raising food yourself are numerous and infinite. There are just so many benefits to raising your own food for your health. You use, of course, no pesticides, anything. All those insecticides, fungicides, and herbicides are not, they're just, you don't use them. And so that doesn't affect your body in any way because they're not present. This is the way it works. This is the cycle. Overall, whether you raise your own food or make smarter choices, as long as you are committed, that's when the real change occurs.